Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with The Funnel Code. And recently I've had a couple people reach out to me because they were having difficulties with things. And basically what it came down is they needed the ability to be able to translate the text on the site or to build multiple sites in different languages. And finally, it occurred to me today, um, what I really started thinking about really was Google Translate. And any site, as you know, you can come in here and you can right click on some text. Let me see here if I can do it. And we can come down, we go translate to English. Well, of course, this would have to be in another language, but then you could translate it to English. And I started thinking about it, I was like, do they have any code available that we could embed into the site and be able to translate any site into any language you want, or more specifically, into 64 different languages? And that's what I did. I got it here set up for click funnels, but you can do the exact same thing over here for drop funnels. So let me just show you how this works. You click on the language up here and you scroll down and one of the people was looking for French. So we'll just click on here and immediately everything gets put into French. And let's see, I know Spanish would be probably a big one. So let's come down here and let's find Spanish. And here we go, now it's in Spanish. And let's go back over to the ClickFunnels version. And um, one of the guys, Paul, is Icelandic. So let's put it into Icelandic, if that's the right word for it. And then we can go any other one we want here. Mongolian, what does that look like? Well, that's okay, that's pretty cool. And I found one e earlier, what was it? Uh, Chechen or something, no, not Ch no, Georgian. That was it, that one really. Um, that one, I don't know how to read that one, but so, um, that's, that's the thing here. It's pretty cool. You can put it into all of these, like I said, 64 different languages just by putting this little, uh, basically it's an HTML element right here on the page. And then I did a little bit styling to it. You could put this anywhere on the page. And the other thing I found is if you turn this on and then like somebody leaves the site and then they come back in again, it'll actually ha remember their language until you come up here and you click this off and then it'll go back to English. And so we'll click both of these off. So now let's jump into uh, the code here and let's take a look at that. So um, let's go into uh, drop funnels first. So we'll click on this one. And the code's gonna be exactly the same. And I'll show you here inside of ClickFunnels um, what we're gonna do. So this is uh, how it's done in ClickFunnels is with this HTML box. Well, it's the exact same thing over here in Drop Funnels is this also is an HTML box. So let me just click on it. Here, it actually renders it right onto the screen. And we'll click here and here is the code that goes in. And then again, the same thing over here on Drop Funnels. We will click on this. And so the code's a little bit bigger here, so we'll take a look on this one. And like I said, all of this code from here to here, I got that actually from Google. I couldn't find it on Google's site. I actually found it on W3Schools is where I found it. And if you're looking at the code here, it does say here EN for English. And you don't want to change that. What I did is I put in FR for France or for French. And what it does is it actually removes that language from the list. So obviously, if you want French people to read it, you don't want France, French removed from the list. So you want to leave that there. And then down here at the bottom, I just did a little bit of CSS styling to uh, turn that background white, um, text align at center in the column. And we put a little bit of a border and a border or a border radius and a border and some box shadow around it just to make it not look horrible. Because the background here where it says powered by Google Translate is actually transparent. So if you're going to do it on a back uh, on a dark background, you want something around here and you want a white background. If you're going to do it on a white background, it would uh, show up just fine. But again, you probably want some sort of styling around it to set it off. But I think really the best place for it is probably right up here in the header so that anybody who comes in, if you're working with multiple nationalities, multiple languages, so that anybody can just easily come in and just click on it and uh, get going. And um, so again, um, like I said, here's the exact same code in uh, drop funnels. And again, in drop funnels here, it, we come into our modules 
and it's actually just an HTML box right here. And in any HTML box, you can put in not just HTML, which the div here would be HTML. You could also put in scripts because the script tag technically is HTML and surrounding the JavaScript. And then again, the styling is another uh, HTML tag where you put your CSS in between those two style tags. So we'll just click on done and publish. And again, um, it is pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like in Hindi. There we go. That's what it looks like in Hindi. So there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.